Another alternative to the congested road is the rail. Fundamentally, the rail is regulated by the Nigerian Railway Corporation and the system covers about 3,500 kilometers of 3 feet 6 inches gauge lines and 479 kilometers of standard gauge lines. However, the federal government has in recent times turned its eyes to expanding the link of Nigeria by rail. The latest development in the efforts of the government to resuscitate activities on the rails include Kano Port Harcourt service, which was commissioned in July 2015 and travels from Kano every Thursday and leaves Port Harcourt back to Kano every Tuesday. As of this moment, I prefer using train because it is so comfortable. I don't have any problem if I join train, moving train. So I don't have any problem. I better join it than taxi or bus. And also it is too cheap if you join it. It prevents someone's delay on the road. Because when you go there, there will be no delay on the road. There's no vehicle that will cause any delay. And it avoids arm robbery. Because when once you enter, you enter directly and you see yourself in a station. Project Abuja, Kaduna, Rikata. Well, by somebody. Thank you very much. Abuja Kaduna flagged off about a year later with a capacity of 320 passengers per trip. The railway authority says it services about 1,000 people daily. And yet to be completed is the Abuja Light Rail. Although about 70% complete at the moment, its first phase is to connect the Abuja city center to Namdi Azikiwe International Airport. And then at 100%, which is targeted at December 2017, it should link the city to Yanya, Kubwa, Mararaba and Lube. With less than a year and a half to the finish line of the over 35-kilometer rail, the construction is unfortunately recording setback. Cubans are being vandalized. You will be surprised also to know that even the new Abuja light rail system under construction has been faced with vandalization. Two weeks ago, vandals dug out cables and cut them off. So this is, I mean, this is something that government alone cannot do because we have deployed members of the civil defense along the tracks we deploy them in the city but citizens also have to be conscious of that suspicion of who might be responsible for the damage of the fiber cables meant to service tools for communication across the stations eludes even the residents of the area i'm just very surprised seeing a group of persons here this same place that were being uh, i think walk black and white together meaning they are getting to the next level but me i'm surprised to hear this same story that vandalization has been taking place the damage 15 meters cable has been replaced and while the resuscitation effort is still on there's also the request for maintenance personnel and facilities the decline in the rail before now could be traced to maintenance compulsorily therefore there should be a plan to cater for this at the moment, you know, we, we do have um, a substantive uh, number of workshops, uh, maintenance facilities all over Nigeria. Uh, the railway industry in Nigeria used to be one of the biggest employers uh, historically. Uh, we still have a lot of those expertise here in, in, in Nigeria. Most of our maintenance is done in-house. Uh, you know, and part of what we do when we acquire new technology is to ensure that there's a, what I call a um, handover period. Uh, there's also a uh, transfer of knowledge uh, clause in all contracts to ensure that the technology that is being imported can then be maintained here in Nigeria. Uh, and that in that process, obviously, we're going to be creating jobs for Nigerians. So, you know, yes, I will say that, you know, there, there is the capability to maintain and uh, uh, ensure the, the functionality of our, of our facilities here in Nigeria. The 
National Bureau of Statistics has said that the share of transport in the gross domestic product is in the neighborhood of 3%. And this is apart from the contribution in moving goods and individuals for business and domestic purposes. Consequently, a good transport system is essential to support economic growth and development. And the lack of it will certainly affect the level of outputs. Well, that's our package for this episode of Big Story. Don't forget to join the conversation on our various platforms. I'm Amy Thompson.